Hello everyone, happy to see you here. Really interesting exponential equation today. We have 4 to the x equal to x to the fourth power. And we need to find our x. Of course, as you can see, we have fourth power. So we'll have no more than four roots. So a lot of roots, roots right here. But how can we start to solve this? First of all, we have power, we have exponent. So it's really good to take log on both sides. Let's do this. If we take natural log on the left hand side on 4 to the x equal to natural log x to the fourth power. So we're just taking natural log on both sides, so nothing changed for us. And right now let's use log property, so x goes right here and 4 goes right here in the beginning. So what we'll have as a result? We will have the next, we will have x times natural log 4 equal to 4 times natural log x. And of course a lot of times it's really good to, to bring all our x's and all our a variables on the left and on the right hand side. So let's divide our left hand side by 4. We will have natural log 4 over 4. So from here we cancel it equal to dividing both sides by x. From here we can cancel on the left. So we will have natural log x over over x. So we just simplify this a little bit. And right now, as you can see, there is no way another root than x equal to 4 because this natural log x equal to this natural log x and these four equal to x. So our first root will be 4. So x1 equal to 4. This is our first root after this simplifying step. And of course, a, using expa inspection right here, we can easily say that if base equal to base and exponent equal to exponent, then we have 4 to the x equal to x to the 4 and 4 to the 4 equal to 4 to the 4. So this is good for us. But this is only our first root for us. What about more roots? What about the next rule right here? Let's try to simplify this a little bit. So we have situation like that. We have nature log 4 over 4 equal, equal to nature log x over x. I want to start with the next one. Let's bring this on the left hand side, on the right hand side. So let's swap these sides. So first I write nature log x over x equal to nature log 4 over 4. It's better for us to work with, with, this, with this side. And right now I want to write this x as e to the power natural log x. So take a look closely what I do. I write this as natural log x and this x I write as e to the power natural log x. So this x I write as e to the power natural log x equal to natural log 4 over 4. So nothing changed for us. I just write it in, in another way. And right now I want to bring this e to the power natural log x on the, to our denominator, numerator. And right here we will put minus because we bring in it from denominator to numerator. So we will have the next. We will have e to the power minus natural log x times natural log x equal to natural log 4 over over 4. So I hope you understand this step. We just bring these in our to our numerator. What are we going to do next? We need to know a little bit about Lambert W function because it's it's really good to, to know about this function because if we have the same this element and the same power of e, we will easily simplify this in a really good way. Take a look closely. I just multiply it by minus 1. And if we multiply it, we will have minus natural log x right here times e to the power minus natural log x equal to natural log 4 over over 4. So we just multiply both sides by minus and of course minus right here. Don't forget it. Okay. okay. What do we need to do next? We need to apply Lambert W function because we have the same right here constant and the same right here element. So we can easily apply Lambert W function. If we apply Lambert W function on the left and of course on the right we need it, we need to write it as Lambert W function on the left, we will have only our minus natural log, natural log x equal to Lambert W function in this point minus natural log 4 over over 4. So I hope you understand this step. This is our really good moment right now. And let's try to simplify this a little bit. How can we simplify this? Let's multiply by minus and let's take natural log on both sides. If we take this, we will have that our x from here, x equal to equal to e to the power minus Lambert W function in the point natural log 4 over over 4. Okay, we find our root and if we if we find this root 
in our on our internet we will have that our x equal to 2 so from here our x equal to 2 this is our x second if you find exactly the value of this lambert w function so this is our second second root okay what are we going to do next? Let's find our more roots, because we find only two roots, we need to find more roots. But I want to show you one really interesting moment right now. Take a look closely. If we have our function, if we create a function from here, we will have function f of x equal to 4 to the x minus x to the 4. So if we, from here, if we create a function a little bit, what we will have? I want to write the value of this function in the point of 0, we will have the next one. We will have 4 to the 0 minus 0 to the 4 equal to 1. So this is greater than 0. And I want to find the value of this function in the point of minus 1. What we will have? We will have 4 to the power minus 1 minus minus 1 to the fourth power. This will be equal to minus 3 fourths. This is negative 1. And I want to mention that right here we will have one solution between 0 and 1. Why we will have it? Because we have different signs. How can we find it? Using Newton's formula. I write it right here, the Newton's formula. Newton formula. And we need to find this solution. What is this formula looks like? x to the power n plus 1 equal to x to the power n minus f in the point x n and dividing by f prime in the point of x to the n. So right here we will find our, our root. Let's find derivative of it first. So f prime x, f prime x equal to, equal to right here 4 to the x, 4 to the x times natural log 4 and minus 4x cube, minus 4x cube. And right now we need to apply all these elements that we need in our formula right here. So firstly we need to find our f f x first. If you plug in all of this, we'll have x first equal to equal to 0 minus f to the point of 0 over f prime in, in this point. If you find all of this element, we'll have that our x first equal to minus 0 0.72135. This is our x, x first. And right now let's find our x second. I don't want to waste your time, I write that x second equal to minus 0.7213 so close to, to this one x third if you're talking about x third will be equal to minus 0.766 and x4 the the element that we need equal to minus 0.76666 and 5 and right now i want to mention one really interesting moment we really need this x to the x with the index 4 because right here this is our fourth solution and let's write our our all solution so this is our answer this is our answer so we'll have that our first solution from here x first equal to 4 so x first equal to 4 from here we will find that our x second equal to 2 so x second equal to 2 and if we check it real quick what we'll have we will have that our 4 square equal to equal to 2 to the 4th, which is absolutely correct because 16 equal to equal to 16. So this is this is good for us. And right here we find our third root. So x third equal to minus 0 0.766. This is our our solution, our our answer. So I, I want to take it in, in little brackets so this is our this is our answer what do you think about this solution write your suggestion in the comment maybe you find another method how can we solve it this is my approach using newton's formula i hope you understand this step we just apply step by step x first x second x third and x x fourth in our in our formula and right here we find our three roots if you still have any question, write your question in comment. It will be really interesting to read it. And of course, write your solution, write your suggestion in a comment. It will be really interesting as well. And thank you so much for your support, for your for your likes. I really appreciate it. And of course, see you in the next videos. Don't forget to subscribe, leave any comment. I really appreciate it. It helps to improve video. It inspires me a lot to make a new interesting math problem. I find 
a lot of math problems in different books so it's it's really inspires me and you helps me a lot thank you so much for watching have a great day and take care of yourself see you in the next videos